Owasso police say they've responded to 10 car break-ins throughout the city so far this year. It's a number they say has remained fairly consistent. News on 6's Jaden Brandon is live with the frustrations, though, of homeowners in the country estate's neighborhood. Jaden? People who live in the country estate's neighborhood are on alert after several neighbors became victims of auto theft. I always take everything in at night. I don't leave anything in my car that's worth stealing. Lynn Duncan has lived here for 20 years. Luckily, it wasn't her car that was broken into, but she says hearing about it happening nearby concerns her. Everybody works hard for what they have, and to have somebody just bust into your window, it costs money, it costs time, hassle. No one wants to deal with that. Owasso police say three cars were broken into in this neighborhood on January 25th. This video shows people trying to break into cars in the same neighborhood last night. A lot of the auto burglaries, burglaries happen uh, during the night where you see residential burglaries during the daytime. At nighttime is usually when the, we see the cars getting broken into. Woodruff says although only three burglaries were reported, there could be more. They'll hit uh, a lot of the unlocked cars and so if someone comes out the next morning, they may not have realized that someone was in their car the night before. He says the biggest thing people can do to prevent this from happening is making sure your car is locked. They don't want to make a lot of noise breaking a window out. Uh, they, it does occasionally happen, but like I say, the overwhelming majority of the cars that we find are vehicles that were left unlocked in the driveway. Floodlights and security cameras can also scare off burglars or help police during investigations.